another episode of RNC Adventures. I'm Ricky. And I'm Christy. And today we are at our local bowling alley for our weekly bowling event. And we're going to show you how the adaptations to bowling work using a bowling rail and a spotter and how that can help you hopefully improve your bowling game. We hope you enjoy. We'll see you on the inside. All right, so we're here at the bowling alley. We've got our rail set up here. This is a six foot rail. It's made out of aluminum. It's about, what, half an inch thick? And uh, it has balls on both, both ends of it. It lines along the uh, approach area and lines with the uh, gutter to paint on which hand you're using to bowl with. So, can you explain how that goes? approach the lane obviously you'd be facing the opposite direction um, and you would use depending on the person have your hand on one the rail and you have the ball in your other hand as you approach towards the lane uh, and then as you approach you would let go of the rail because the rail is not super sturdy you can it moves it lines up evenly you have somebody who can see line it up for you and um what else so yeah the, the thing to remember is if you're bowling with your right hand the rail goes on the, uh, aligns with the left gutter and you put your left hand on the rail and if you're bowling with your left hand you put the rail on the right side in the, at the gutter and use your right hand to guide across the top of the rail. And like Christy said, you don't grab it. It's not very sturdy. Um, and uh, you're going to uh, just kind of glide your hand over the top of it. You yeah. should start at the, at the top, at the front of the rail towards closest to the lane. Back up three or four steps, whatever your stride is, and then make your approach. The other adaptation with uh, bowling for the blind and visually impaired is the spotter. So as we bowl, we have a spotter that will tell us what pins are left. For instance, you have pins one, three, and five left. That gives us an idea of where we need to aim for. And so as you hear us bowl, we're going to show you how we do it. Um, and you'll kind of get an idea of hearing our spotter talk about how many pins we have left. So let's go bowling. Let me, uh, I'm going to give you a kind of a, a view of the rail itself from top to bottom real quick. So here is the rail from this side. You can see down at the bottom it's got balls that this end. And if you go all the way down. And these are six, this one is a six foot rail. They also have a nine foot. Um, I know the six foot, I don't know if they're any more expensive, but the American Blind Bowlers Association sells these for $300. Or used to. Or used to, that, that was the old price. You might want to check with them just to make sure. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and as we've been saying, there's there is actual bowling balls uh, sitting in a in a there's slot one. that's made for them yep. on each end. So the ends uh, are the end that goes towards the front of the lane is squared off, so it actually drops immediately straight down. The back of the rail that's away from from the lane at the approach start is curved. Um, it has more of a loop. A loop bins, yep. Yeah. And then you also have a couple of spots where there's support rails that I use uh, to line myself up for my approach. So play with it, figure out what works for you, and uh, get bowling. So let's go bowl.
had some progress. Be sure and hit that like button, subscription button, and uh, what else you got, Christy? Be sure to share it with your friends, your family, and um, we will catch you next time. Let us know if you bowl, if you use a rail, or if not, how you bowl. Drop it down in the comments section. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.